Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. For over 20 years, Santa Fe Cafe has been the locals' favorite for authentic New Mexican food. Stepping into Santa Fe Cafe main dining room, you are surrounded by candlelit adobe walls making you think you are dining in the Southwest. And there are many delectable dining options. Make sure your night is unforgettable. And if you're looking for a more romantic evening, dine under the stars in their open-air, climate-controlled rooftop cantina. Joining us today, Marshall Sampson, owner, to tell us why Santa Fe Cafe is Hilton Head's premier spot for Southwestern cuisine. Marshall, welcome to the show. Thank you. Well, it has been one of my favorites for like the last 18, 19 years. So <laughs> I love Santa Fe Cafe, and it's I've always loved the grouper. <laughs> Absolutely. That's definitely one of our most popular dishes we have. You know, it's uh, been a crowd favorite for a long time. Uh, I'd say the close second would probably be the fajitas we have, which is about an eight ounce filet mignon with that. And uh, everything's, I think everything's got on the, everybody's got a, a special thing they like on the, on the menu. That's oh, why yeah, it's been there I bet. for so long. You have to keep going back and going back to try the next special thing Absolutely. you want to have. <laughs> well, you, I, I, I say I, that's the, the idea, but a lot of people I don't think have ever gotten anything but one thing off the menu. They get the same thing every time okay, they come. Okay, so I've always yeah. gotten the grouper. So they, they, you're not alone. Yeah. <laughs> when you told me the fajitas <laughs> were really, really good, I was like, I've never had the I fajitas. Know, I try and and, and next time I come, out. I'm going to have the grouper. <laughs> <laughs> But um, you guys have some new yen menus for the new year. Oh, uh, we do. We, uh, we're actually doing a restaurant week, which is coming up in a couple yeah, of weeks. And uh, we're doing a three-course, $24 meal. And uh, that menu that we're putting out, it's got a you know, choice of super salad, uh, five different entrees plus dessert. After restaurant week, that's going to be our early dining menu, which we're going to do throughout the rest of the year. Um, it's, uh, I, th I think we've tested it a little bit last year, and we've kind of perfected, I think, what we want to do. Uh, so we're very excited to put that out for this year coming up. And you'll keep that menu throughout the year. Throughout the year. But you will maintain your... your, your <laughs> Absolutely. No changes to the other. Yeah, I, I know. It's one of those things where... Don't scare we me. We want to expand the menu, but we can't take anything off of the menu. So we've kind of kind of got to tweak it a little bit. But yeah. Uh, yeah. And then we're also doing a, uh, a happy hour menu over at the bar. We're doing uh, drink specials from 5 to 7 and now... We're doing uh, some entree, not entree special, but little munchies. Uh, and you do said you from, hadn't done that in the past, Never done right? it before, so this is a new thing for us. What are some us, of the samples of the... Uh, you can get the, uh, we have nachos on there. We can do uh, queso fundido, which is mixed cheeses, chorizo sausage, jalapeno peppers, all served with warm flour tortillas. Yum. Our cornmeal dusted oysters are on there, and then also chicken quesadilla, which is a very popular one, too, so we put that on there as well. All for $5, and then the drink wow. specials are all four fifty or a dollar off all beer, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so. that's a fun happy hour. Yeah. We were talking a little bit, and I didn't realize this, your your normal evening fare is more of a southwestern trend, but you said yes. the lunches, you kind of, um, you do more of a, a, a Mexican flair. Right, right. The dinner, you know, the, it's a southwestern, it's a little different than Mexican. You know, you're kind of getting American and Mexican influences kind of fused together, whereas the lunch menu uh, is uh, more of a Mexican influence with your tacos, enchiladas, burritos, fish tacos. Um, you know, it's kind of got a little more Mexican fling to it and everything on our lunch menu is under ten dollars so it's a it's a pretty popular lunch and we do that Monday through Friday 1130 to 2. Right yeah. so uh, what about the cantina I know I have been to the rooftop cantina and I've been there when it's been chilly but never really cold so do right. you keep it open all year long? All year long and I know <laughs> people look at me when I, I you know I answer the phone a lot and like, I'll take reservations and everything and I'll always, I always ask inside or outside and it'll be 45 degrees out and they're like uh inside and i'm like well i know <laughs> it takes a little convincing but once they see they go up there and they're like oh this is actually pretty we have about eight big heaters up there a huge fireplace that we sit out there it's and, uh, almost hot up there <laughs> we can we can uh, the servers actually with the heaters they kind of duck away from them because it, it kind of gets their hair a little bit but uh yeah any all year long we keep it open we have our live entertainment he plays all year up there from wednesday to saturday and yeah. he plays from about six thirty to 10 o'clock yeah and he's yeah. fun yeah he's very he, fun he's been a, there a long time I, i'd say he's been there about eight or nine years yeah so what is the most popular dish in the restaurant we talked a little bit about that but i'd say it's, it's still going to be the grouper still but the grouper, it, there huh? are some that are kind of creeping up we do have a new couple of dishes that have uh, been very very popular like our uh, portobello mushroom or stuffed portobello mushroom is very popular um the scallop santiago is another big one that we added that's been selling very well but in the end 
it's always going to be the grouper. There's something that I don't know if you still have on the menu, but uh, it was a uh, a ribeye, and it looked like it was a half of a cow going, uh, uh, you know, past me on a plate. Yeah, it is a very, it's a, I'd say they range from anywhere to 28 to 30 ounces wow. bone in. Uh, and we do a mesquite grilled or blackened. I prefer blackened, mm -hmm. but uh, it's, uh, yeah, you got to be hungry. to. That is fantastic. It <laughs> looks fantastic on the plate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, the restaurant week, that is, again, um, I'm, I'm not sure the date. Uh, it's coming up at the end of this month. I believe it starts the 26th and runs to February 2nd. Okay. And then, uh, like I said, we're doing an all-inclusive $24 prefix meal. You get your choice of soup or salad. Um, then we've got five different entrees ranging from our uh, pork tenderloin, uh, scallop Santiago that I mentioned, the uh, stuffed portobello mushroom, uh, chimichanga. And then we're also doing a Parmesan chipotle and crusted tilapia on there, which is oh, going to wow. be it's really that tasty. Sounds, that sounds really yummy. Yeah. So uh, people, best to have reservations, Marshall? Uh, yes, definitely, okay. especially during restaurant week, but any time of the year that we just get those, you know. Well, I know I know it used to be a primarily uh, locals restaurant. Right, I mean, right. we, we didn't tell anybody about <laughs> it, but I know it's, it, I mean, now it's, cr you are always busy. We're, always we we busy. stay pretty busy, which is, you know, not going to it's, it's great, but uh, it's it's, uh, well, if you don't have a reservation, don't worry about it. We'll figure it You'll out. We'll figure out. There's always the there's, cantina. Yeah, there's always, <laughs> there's always a spot in the restaurant that we can figure out. So, but. Well, good luck during restaurant week, and oh, I look you. forward to the, uh, the happy hour specials. And thank you for joining us. Thank you. And we will be right back with Talk of the Town.